all right guys let's discover what's really new in adobe illustrator 2022 and they've really improved the 3d effect in adobe illustrator this year so you should really forget about the previous 3d effect in adobe illustrator the classic one because now we do have a new 3d panel which you can access in here from when do you can find 3d and materials or even you can access that one from effects 3d and materials as well and you'll find all the new ones in here including the classic one which you can really forget about right now because we have a very cool panel in here so let's open that one and as you can see i already added the panel in here so let's go ahead and create a square selecting rectangle tool let's change the color for now selecting maybe cyan okay then going back to 3d selecting extrude then let's increase depth easily like so you can add a cap also you can add bevel then change its shape maybe round you can adjust width and height from here so you can see how we can come up with a completely different shape tweaking these sliders in here starting to look like a bullet as you can see let's reduce depth a bit then you can select your move tool and start rotating that one from here you do have x rotation you do have y rotation axis and you can hover to the center where you can rotate free form like so also you can find these sliders as well in the panel for custom rotation as well and we do have some presets as well so you can see off axis front or maybe back or maybe some isometrics as well like so and what's even cool is that you can add materials and even lighting so let's create a new shape hovering to that part in here so i can move my shape and let's maybe draw half a circle selecting our ellipse tool holding and maintaining shift key then selecting scissor tool or pressing c and let's cut that one from here and from there now we do have half a circle let's remove that one selecting that one in here and instead of selecting extrude we can select revolve which is going to give us in that case a perfect sphere because if you try to apply revolve to a circle it's going to give you that donut shape so let's quickly draw another circle in here a revolve now we have a donut you can change the 360 to make it half a donut if you would like or even do some offset like so however let's leave that donut aside for now and let's go back to our sphere selecting that sphere once again then here we do have materials then here we do have some cool materials as you can see let's maybe go with that marble in here i really like that one let's even zoom in so you can see better or even we can select that one in here by the way guys you might be wondering it's not looking that amazing and that's totally fine because your shape and these materials aren't rendered and in order to render these materials you can click in here render with ray tracing which is gonna take a little while we can apply golden leaf fold and as you can see guys since we do have that rendering toggled it's gonna be slowing our workflow and it's gonna keep rendering our shape so probably need to switch that one off and keep designing and adding your materials and at the very end you can apply rendering to your shape and also you do have some controls for render settings by clicking in here you can see that we have low quality right now we can go for high we can even render as vector 
and remember that if we want to. However, let's disable ray tracing for now because here we do have more options for our shapes. So for example, we do have material properties, expanding that one and see that we do have resolution, we do have color, we can customize fold variation, scrolling down, we have roughness, metallic position, then we can go ahead and add some lighting as well, selecting that tab. Here we have standard, we can diffuse light or even change its angle. And also we can change our lighting color as well. So maybe you can go something like magenta or so. Then we do have intensity for that light. We can increase that one a bit. We do have rotation, height, softness as well. Then we can add shadows as well. Adjust its distance from object. And shadow bounds as well can be controlled from here. We can apply that one to be top left lighting like so. Also we can change its position from here behind object or below object. We can increase bounds like so. Now we can render that. And that looks cool, changing your material will be giving you completely different results. So maybe something like that one, wax paint. Well, that looks cool and reminds me of Orano's as well. Zooming out so you can see that one in place. And also what's really cool is that we can apply the same effect to type. So selecting our type tool or pressing T on keyboard. Clicking in here, let's type maybe 3D or so, enlarging that. Can it change its color? And then let's extrude that one object, extrude, or even you can inflate that one, which is gonna look like that. And even let's rotate that one like so, so you can see or imagine how that looks like I'm doing that and also we do have depth slider in here if you'd like to adjust that one we do have volume as well and what's really cool is that you can also add a stroke color to that type so let's select stroke maybe something like that and by the way guys, if you'd like to master Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign along with graphic design theories with tons of graphic designs, real world projects, exercises and design assets you can go ahead and check out my graphic design masterclass which you can find its link in the description and believe me guys, this can be a career changing masterclass Anyway, let's go back to our video also now in Adobe Illustrator, you can rotate your canvas just like Photoshop, you can do that from here. Under your hand tool, you can find rotate view tool and you can rotate your canvas like so, which is really cool, especially if you're drawing on tablet or so. And anytime you'd like to get back to your regular view, you can press escape on keyboard. And also we do have some minor updates to Adobe Illustrator 2022. So for example, we do have in select menu, same, you'll find more options in here like font family, size, text fill color, and this could be very handy, especially if you're working on complicated files. Also now you can place Photoshop cloud documents in Adobe Illustrator by going to file, place, then you can open cloud documents. Then here we do have a Photoshop cloud document file, place, then you can simply drag like so and you'll have a linked file as you can see in here by clicking in here you can see it's a cloud document and of course you can embed that one to your file by clicking in here also now you can share your illustrator documents with your client or other designers as well by clicking in here you can save that one as a cloud document then you can share that file 
you can give it a name in here then you can save that one then you can click in here again to invite people to edit that one or even leave comments and you can find these comments in your comment panel which you can find from here if you open window menu you'll find comments and you can even check some existing comments if you already executed them or add your own comments as well from here Adobe Illustrator 2022 now has a slight redesign in its top bar and exactly in its top right corner where you can find that option in here so now you can arrange your documents as well from here so once you click the button you can see your documents like that two vertical up documents and now you can easily move your design elements from here to there or even you can compare different designs next to each others and if you'd like to get back to your original view you can go again and click on the same button click on that one and here you go you can easily switch between your documents from here and also if you'd like to change your workspace you can do so from here as well so go ahead and experiment with these new updates in here and i'll be seeing you in next one